Yeah, I'm here now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm literally coming through the door right now. Um, I don't think so. No, I think it's just me at the moment. But that's all right. It gives me time to get ready, get my ducks in a row. Yeah. Yeah, you should be good. Very excited, very tired, obviously, but very excited. Yes. No, this is this is the first time I've seen any of it. I wasn't there on the house viewing. Yeah, I ducked out of it. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know. You know what these student houses are like? Yeah, full of surprises, but hey, I want to be surprised. Surprise me. I will, I will, I'll explore right now. I'll go and explore right now, yeah. Yeah, it'll be good. I'm excited. I am. Yes, I'm gonna go now, okay? I said I'm gonna go now. All right, bye-bye. Bye, see bye. Bye, you. All right, yeah, bye. And hello the internet, I am so excited to come and talk to you guys and show you around my cool new student house because I have had so many messages from all of you lovely people, on, I've had them on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, saying show us a new student house and I thought this is such an appropriate moment to do it, to show you guys around because at the moment I'm here on my own, no one else has turned up yet but I'm sure that's not because they've ditched me, I'm sure it's something weird, I just thought oh well, I've got the place to myself, I'm all alone might as well get out the iPad and give you a cute This is the living tour. room. This is where living happens instead of the dying room, I don't know. And this is the cute little corridor, cute little understairs cupboard that you have to duck to get into. And through here is the kitchen. This is where the party happens. This is the kitchen slash diner slash um, kitchen. And here is a load of shit that was left by the previous tenants. Hashtag fuck the previous tenants. I think they must have like left in a hurry or something, although I don't quite know what was going on. And they clearly got through a lot of alcohol, which means this is a house where people lose their minds, which can only be a good thing. This is a cute little feather that I found in the garden, or two cute little feathers that I found in the garden, and some recycling leaflets. And this is my bedroom. This is where I'm really excited to show you guys because I've finally get to unpack all of my shit and get to have my own place. It's like slightly smaller than my bedroom at my mum and dad's house by like maybe like half the size, but that's okay because I'll work with it. And I have this lovely new double big king queen. So I have a bed that, that I love. Look at this. Look at this gorgeous bedspread. I saw one like this in John Lewis once and thought it was amazing and gorgeous. And I love the like the spiral chic thing that it's got going on. These gorgeous soft pillows stuffed full of like feathers of like duck feathers, swan feathers, whatever it is, it's beautiful and I love it. This is the living room, this is where living happens instead of the dying room, I don't know. And this is the cute little corridor, cute little understairs cupboard that you have to duck to get into and through here is the kitchen. This.
Even after the flesh perishes, one can live in the hearts of others together with the feelings one has for them. Therefore, the story of love must be told many times so that the spirits of lovers may live forever. Forever. The one thing that never perishes, the only promise is love.